So now we take the two borders here. Oops, hold control down and select the other and then just cap them. So now there is not a hole anymore. We want a hole from here to the inside. So we are just going to select the polygons here. This one and this one. Yeah. Uh, this can get a problem sometimes if you select two faces that uh, where the uh, where the second you select uh, where the other is in back background, but then you can push and they ignore back facing, and then that's not a problem. So you can insert this, and then you want it to go. I think it was just about here. Something like that. 60. Okay. And then to make a hole, you can just bridge them. It was a much smaller hole. But to do this, I think I'm just going to do it here with a circular selection tool so just select it here be sure to get all of them and then scale them down until you think it's matches the photo that you want to assemble so a little bigger I think like that it's a very sharp edge here itch here so I think I'll grab uh, this and this and loop them and then I'm gonna chamfer them. Okay. Now I've got that nice um, edge there. Great. Also down. Let's do the modified one. Or the modified one. It's probably called. So select that, and that was the bend modifier. So we'll just collapse it. Here we want to first. We want to make them all one piece, as we just did before. So control A, weld, and crank up that a bit. And now they're all one piece. And there's still a gap over here. Let's just get rid of that like that so when you choose that it is only the inside good uh, we want to select both of them anyway and we want hold shift down and then drag them out once and then drag them out again then we want to um, bridge these like that, so there's a hole. Um, then select one of these edges here that we want to get like a solid and into the middle, ring them. 
and then hold control down and uh, press polygon then all the polygons get selected where the edges were now make an extrude and select local normal then go as far in as you want to and press OK then you can select the size again and loop them and chamfer them probably want to chamfer this a little more like that that looks nice you can also do this here it's very fast chamfer say ok so already now we've got two you can see this is very also when we render it this is very um, jagged so select this it was selected action and then add a smooth modifier it is right here auto smooth and that did correct our problem just collapse it Now we are going to try to make these work. So put them up close to each other so they fit. And then if you rem remember from the latest uh, tutorial on uh, how to make um, gear wheels work and interact with each other or appear to, uh, can, uh, choose one of the objects you want to um, to interact with another and press control 5 and uh, choose the um, transform rotation or position x y or c and here it would be c as i told you why in the, in the old tutorial and here of course it's going to be the rotation uh, y and not the c because is another axis it's rotating about around so here we want it to work both ways and we want to connect them now when we're rotating them well actually they do work so this is fine but our pivot points are totally off so let's make them right go into effect pivot only and center the pivot uh, to the object do the same here now this should work and it does very fine okay now we're going to make the last one this one okay just make a box in the top view like we did before this is going to be a little more uh, square kind of but it has to be a lot higher so this is not enough this is probably going to be enough something like that yeah then we want some more height segments height segments I'll show you why in just a minute 10 should be enough yeah um, then go into the and make it an edit editable poly and then remove this side that is towards that uh, is um, that is looking towards the center 
mentally goes. Then we want the edges going here. We want that hole as we said uh, made before. And this is fine. 